Little Fox. Jack and the Beanstalk, Episode One: No More Milk. Once upon a time, there was a clever boy. His name was Jack. He lived with his mother. Jack and his mother were poor. Long ago, an evil ogre stole their gold. Then Jack's father died. But they still had a garden and wheat field. They also had an old cow named Milky White. Every morning, Jack milked Milky White. Every afternoon, he went to the market. Fresh milk for sale, Jack called. Fresh butter too. Every night, Jack took the money home to mother. One year, terrible rainstorms came. Rain washed away their vegetable garden. It washed away the wheat field too. Mother looked around and shook her head. What will we do? She said. Don't worry, mother. Jack said cheerfully. In the spring, we'll make a new garden. We'll plant more wheat, and we still have Milky White. Mother nodded. You're right, Jack. We still have Milky White. Then one day, Jack went to milk the cow, but Milky White had no milk. I hope Milky White is okay, Jack thought. The next day, Jack tried to milk the cow again. Oh no, he said. The cow had no milk again. Jack sighed. <sighs> How will I tell mother? Jack and the Beanstalk, Episode Two: A Grand Plan. That evening, Jack told Mother about Milky White. This is terrible, Mother said. How will we make money? She put her head on the table and sobbed. Oh. <laughs> There was one thing Jack hated. That was watching Mother cry. Please don't cry, Mother. He said, "I have a plan." Mother lifted her head. We have a big problem, Jack. She said, "It's not time for one of your grand plans." Jack smiled. It's not a grand plan this time; it's a simple one. What is it? Mother asked slowly. I will look for a job. Jack said. Then I can earn money. A job? Mother said. Where will you look for a job? I will look in town. Jack said. You tried that last year, Mother said. Remember, Jack? Nobody needed help. That was a year ago, Jack said. Maybe someone needs help now. He shrugged. It never hurts to try. Just then, something outside caught Jack's eye. In the night sky. A star twinkled brightly. 
hope filled Jack's heart. Jack looked back at Mother. I have a good feeling about this, Mother. Something magical is going to happen. Mother sighed. <sighs> Fine. Go and look for a job. Maybe something good will happen. Jack and the Beanstalk Episode 3 Jack Goes to Town Jack woke up early and walked to town. First, he went to the shoemaker's shop. Good morning, sir, Jack said. I need a job. Do you have any work for me? The shoemaker shook his head. I'm sorry, Jack, he said. I don't need any help. Next, Jack went to the bakery. He greeted the baker. Do you have any work for me? He asked. The baker shook her head. Not right now, Jack. My daughters are helping me. Jack went from shop to shop. But he had no luck. Jack sighed. <sighs> This is terrible. No one needs any help. Jack began to walk home. How would he tell Mother the bad news? Ah! He kicked a rock hard. It bounced down the dirt road. Ouch! A voice called. Stop kicking rocks! <gasps> Jack looked up. A young woman stood outside a shabby house. She was gathering herbs. I'm sorry, Jack said. I didn't mean to hurt you. I was just mad about something. It's okay. The young woman smiled at Jack. Jack smiled back shyly. My name is Jack. I'm Eliza, the young woman said. Tell me, Jack, what are you so mad about? 